Hi, I'm Marcus Zusak, and I'm the author of The Book Thief. And to celebrate the idea that we should always stand up for, for books that have been challenged and banned, my favourite book when I was 14 years old was The Outsiders, and I was a bit shocked to see this book on that list. And uh, I remember at that age thinking that S.E. Hinton was a genius, and I remember staying up all night to read it in the yellow light of my bedroom with my brother complaining to me about the light being on, but I didn't care. I just had to keep reading. And this book, it just opened up a whole new world to me and uh, in so many ways. One of those was that it made me want to be a writer and I can't imagine my life without this book. So I'm so glad that it's still around for people to read today. I'm just gonna read a little bit of it. I'll try to impress you by remembering the first couple of lines on my own before I get there. But I remember it as being when I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I remember I had two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. Now I think I got that slightly wrong, so I will read, read it perfectly now, hopefully from the book. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. I was wishing I looked like Paul Newman he looks tough and I don't, but I guess my own looks aren't so bad. I have light brown, almost red hair and greenish grey eyes. I wish they were more grey because I hate most guys that have green eyes, but I have to be content with what I have. My hair is longer than a lot of boys wear theirs, squared off in back and long at the front and sides, but I'm a greaser and most of my neighbourhood rarely bothers to get a haircut. Besides, I look better with long hair. I had a long walk home and no company, but I usually loan it anyway for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed so I can get into them and live them with the actors. I kind of love that bit because that's what books do. You get to live everything with the characters and I'm sure S.E. Hinton would die hearing someone with an Australian accent read from that beginning. But I love that book and, uh, and I love her for writing it.